Hi friends, today we will study about manufacturing of metallurgical coke. So basically there are two types of process. First is the high coke oven process. And second is Otto Hoffman. Byproduct coke oven process. So today we will talk about the high coke oven process. Mainly these two processes are work, are works under a high temperature carbonization. As we as we know, carbonization do take place under two categories: high temperature and low temperature. So these are the examples of high temperature carbonization. So beehive coke oven process is the cheapest and earliest process. Both of these processes are equally important for the exams. Secondly, the coke produced by this process was of good quality but the quantity is very low and also the wastage of fuel was very high. So you can mark it as a disadvantage that it caused lot of waste. One more point. The overall process of beehive cocoa and process took 3 to 4 days for completion. And one more point the byproducts, which are leftover products after the carbonization, cannot be recovered. You can make note of all these points for your last minute preparation. So now we will study how to draw its diagram so it's very easy you need to make this dome like structure and this since this is a dome like structure that's why it's called beehive coke oven process because it looks like a beehive yeah and make it double lined because here we use factory bricks so that heat does not go out. This is the pre factory bricks, pre factory linings, we can say. And this line will go like this here. And here we need to make a passage so that air can pass through this. Here we need to make a door. From here we can put our coal. Imagine these are our coals here. Yeah. All this is coal. And you can make bricks like this and normal. This. So this is a basic structure of beehive coke oven process. I'll explain it. So this gap is around 4 meter. And this height from the coal door is 2.5 meters. This is a coal charging door. This is again a door. For air supply. 
as well as coke discharging once it is this coal is converted to coke and after conversion we can discharge all the coke from here this this height is around 0.6 meters all these details are important for the exam you have to write it this is coal and yeah all the heat produced get reflect back that's why this uh, bricks are used you can name it as Z factory line radiated heat and all this is zone of combustion so you can remember it uh, easily generally the capacity of this beehive cocoa one process coal is around 8 to 10 tons one more point the of coke is around 80% If we talk about economically, these type of ovens should be placed in series one by one so that heat produced by one oven should can be used by another oven. So that will be more economical purpose. So as we know the recovery the, the, the recovery of byproducts is not feasible in this method. So whenever there is an emergency or very hard demand, then only we can use this method. So you can explain this diagram in your exam. Um, it's all about the hypocone process. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.